A3, a typical problem solving technique, which is nothing but a structured problem solving methodology and a continuous improvement approach, which was first employed at Toyota and typically used by lean manufacturing practitioners. It basically diagnoses the situation so that you can focus on your problems and not just its symptoms. Let us understand more about what is A3 and how do we construct an A3 report? So without wasting any further time, let's start our today's video on A3 problem solving technique. So in this video, we are going to look at what is A3 and how it is used as a systematic problem solving tool. We look at its origin, its history, why A3, why not A4 or A5, and what is the linkage between A3 and PDCA. We also look at the different stages of A3 problem solving technique. And finally, we also look at how the A3 format looks like and how do you fill this A3 format. So if you are watching this video for the first time on my YouTube channel, then please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and please press that bell icon so that you are notified whenever I post a new video on my YouTube channel. So in this channel, I post videos related to Six Sigma, Lean Manufacturing, Project Management and Business Management. So what is this A3 report? So before understanding this A3 report and how to fill it, let us understand this concept of A3 problem solving technique. So A3 is basically a problem solving methodology that was created in Japan by Toyota as a part of Toyota production system. It is associated with lean manufacturing and is used for continuous improvement efforts at many workplaces. In short, it provides a simple and a logical way to solve a problem and then communicate the same information about the problem to the other co-workers. A3 problem solving can be nicely mapped with different phases of PDCA. That is a plan, do, check and act. So what's the story behind this A3? In the name of A3, why not A4 or A5 or A2? So the term A3 is derived from European paper size that is about the same size as an American 11 inch by 17 inch or a B size paper. Now using an A3 method, team can create a one page improvement project report on A3. By limiting the report to one page, the team are more focused to be concise and be thoughtful about including only relevant information on the report. So this makes the report easy to digest and make it relevant to the other stakeholders. A3 format is typically used by Toyota as a template for three different types of report. Problem solving, project status report and proposals. In this video, we have focused on the problem solving report simply because it is most basic style and making it the best starting point for our tutorial. So how does A3 problem solving methodology map with different phases of PDCS cycle? For this, first we need to look at all the stages of A3 problem solving methodology and all the steps that are involved. The first step that is involved here is background and the identifying the problem or a need. That is, we need to select an issue that you want to resolve first. Probably state how this issue impact your business, your customer, your process, and of course your bottom line. Next, the team should break down or further define the problem. You can ask relevant questions using the 5W1H technique. That is what, when, where, who, why, and how. Next step is to understand the current situation of the problem under consideration. So the problem can only be addressed by understanding the current situation with the help of visual depictions. Toyota indicates that it is important to determine the extent of the problem. Next step is to develop a goal statement, a smart goal statement. The goal should be specific, measurable, realistic, achievable and 
timely bound. You can map out what exact goals you want to accomplish. Then you need to perform a root cause analysis. Now conducting a thorough analysis as to what might be causing this particular issue or a problem. By finding out what causes the problem, you can take some measures against that. The main cause can be identified by any of the root cause techniques like fishbone or 5 eye. So once you have identified the root cause, now it is time to take some countermeasures. The underlying cause can be properly addressed by using these countermeasures. These are the steps that you are going to take to make necessary changes. By making sure that you are addressing the root cause, you, you have found and not the symptom. Next is the implementation phase. This is your well thought out workable plan includes a list of actions that needs to be done so that the countermeasures can be take place and improvement can be obtained. Then we have this follow up plan. So the follow up plan will check whether the changes and the adjustment will actually yield the best results or not. So this is to make sure that the target goal was met and check on it on a regular basis to make sure that our target has been met. Evaluate the results. So measure the results and make sure that you hit your goal if you haven't hit right now. Only by means of evaluation it is possible to determine whether the final results can be achieved or not. When there are deviations, it is important to find out what is causing these deviations and subsequently the changes and the adaptations will have to take place in the process so that the goal will still be achieved. The last step is to standardize and improve. So during this phase of A3, the team should take actions to standardize the process changes or improvements. The team must update all the standard work, work instructions and the process control plans. The management team should also promote continuous improvement of using this A3 tool within the organization. So your goal is to then repeat the implementation plan until your goal is met. Now let us map this with PDCA cycle. So these four five phases of initial steps are under plan phase. Then we have the implementation that is the do phase. Follow up and evaluation comes under check and standardization is the act phase. So this is how you map PDCA with A3 problem solving steps. Now that we have seen this uh, A3 problem solving steps, now it is time to look at the sample A3 format. So uh, assuming that this is an A3 layout and here we'll define who is preparing this report, the date here at the top. Then we will define the background as in what is impacting your business right now, the, your customer or your process. So you will define all the detailed background over here. And then what is the current situation over there? Then what is your goal in the target statement? So you will define all your goal. Make sure it is a smart goal that you are defining here. Then you need to do some root cause analysis and you can use the fishbone diagram or the five wire technique to come to the root cause. Then you need to come up with some action or recommendation. So it could have multiple recommendations. So keep all your recommendations open at this point of time. And if you have any specific questions, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. Then we have the implementation plan. How are you going to implement this uh, recommendations? And finally, what's your follow up plan? So this way we will define the how to create an A3 report. So that is why we say that A3 is a single page document which reflects the result of whole process and everything can be uh, available to the end customer user in the single document. So if you're still watching my video, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and do press that bell icon. You can also watch my other videos here and don't forget to hit that like button as well.